Good morning, good morning, Julie Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another pour. Today I'm doing a flip cup pour. This is all with the Montmart Studio Acrylics. Um, the lovely Montmart Studio Acrylics and I have added the um, pouring medium of the craft glue. Uh, which I pre-mix up at 70% glue, 30% warm water but I only find it's this Montmartre clear craft glue that works for me. Many others have tried different other clear glues and they've just gone into a big gluggy mess so um, yeah not not all are uh, created equal so it's yeah that's the one I found that works so can only tell you that they all of the cups have had uh, two drops of Helmar silicone in each cup and I'm kind of um, yeah doing a bit of a, a mixed bag here I'll explain as I go along but yeah it'll be a four cup flip four cup flip so I'm going to start with kind of candy colors in two cups so this is this was a uh, white and I just added orange now this is very runny so I'm not sure how that's gonna go so I'm kind of pouring two cups with kind of autumny colors so this is this was orange but I mixed silver with it equal parts so keep those there and I'll go This was, I'm not sure where this come from, it's kind of a gold but it's very dull. So it's definitely not the Montmartre gold, I'll have a look because I got it out of what a, a mixture that I'd pre-mixed up probably in a big container about four or five months ago. So I just wanted to see if that would work. It still mixed up the same with the pouring medium. Now, as I said, autumny colours, this is just the, oh, what's it called, sap green, sap green. So I sort of wanted to do, try some autumn colours in a flip. I have no idea how it will turn out. Um, just hoping that it does go okay. I'm just going to add some white to those. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, all your kind comments to me and encouragement. It's very uplifting. So thank you, thank you for that, guys. I'm looking at these colours now, thinking they might turn out more like camouflage colours than... But we'll just go with it. Just try our luck. So they're probably not colours that most people would like, but then again, some people absolutely love these colours. So who knows? Just thought, just keeping to, you know, thinking to try some things different. Can't always do what's, uh, you know, it comes easiest to you. Okay, now where do I go with adding an in-between colour? So I'm going to go, this is the Burnt Umber with black. So it's a bit kind of, yeah, staying in the autumn sort of nature colours, but um, just mixing it up a bit. So go back to the kind of, so it looks like a sorbet colour to me, but I just white and added a blob of uh, orange so so do I want to go do I want to should I should I not okay I've got a bit of no that's not gonna that's not gonna cut the mustard this was the very berry that I make and I actually made this one out of the Montmartre crimson then I added a dash of phalo blue, and then I added a dash of, um, what was the other dash, of black. 
so I'm going to pour some golds into this to oops okay that's all good it's definitely not Montmartre gold it might be the dimensions which is Montmartre anyway but then I'll pour in the green to keep it with a kind of autumny theme certainly not colours everybody will go for do agree with that and go back to the very pale okay let's use that up this might be an absolute dog's dinner or it could be a winner a winner winner chicken dinner you just don't know with these things so i just have to keep trying different things and then i still go back to obviously the things that i love which are my balloon kissing and uh, swipes and oh all sorts there all sorts that we do in a week so here we go i've just got to check my camera because it's been playing up something fierce on me and stopped yesterday after two and a half minutes and i had such a beautiful bright flip cup to show you guys so i'm going to change those back so so i'll do it like that i'll do the flips i might do one from the bottom and one up so we'll try maybe i'll go whoops a days so I hope you guys are all keeping well. hope you're all um, finding something to do and keeping your mind occupied. Even though things are getting a little easier, I'm not sure if they are in your country, but they are in Australia. Things are getting that little bit easier. And, I, and we're able to go to a restaurant now. I think they're limited to the amount of people we can have in the restaurant. But we actually got to go out for a steak last night, which my husband's a real meat eater. He loves his steak and lamb. So we had to get out for a steak meal. And it's been a long time since we did that to go out for a meal uh, of, of a night anyway. So we really enjoyed that. So I hope you guys are doing something that you enjoy. Okay, this might not look very nice. It's green, so it could look like kermit vomit i have no idea so let's go up the other way oh, oops oops a days not too bad not too bad should i say at this point in time or should i not say That, that looks very dark, but it is that very dark berry. Look at these cells that's come up in this straight away. Woo! Oh, I like it so far. Can I just leave it like that? <laughs> um, 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 wow, that's unusual, isn't it? That's quite... I've got a big load left in this cup, so I'm going to lip it through some of my areas that haven't got the paint so it's kind of a flip and lip I think it's Karen Dernish definitely that was d named her flip and lip so thank you Karen Ooh. thank you thank you all these wonderful women and, and men too that create these I mean create different kind of um, you know, twists to the poor. It's all been done before for sure, but you know, anyway. Anyhow, let's move along with the flip and lip. Not as bad as what I thought it could have been at this point in time, but I shouldn't talk too soon, should I? So just gently, gently. Well, slow down, slow slow down just gently tilt over the edges 
probably was quite a lot of paint for this canvas but quite happy at this time that it hasn't gone into mud and it kind of does look a bit like um, camouflage colours but it also does look autumny which is what month we are in in Australia at the moment sort of autumny winterish time wow wow is this just gonna finger pop the very edges this berry does come looking really yeah deep and luscious so it does add a real nice um, yeah richness about a piece so I like it very much now if you were happy to only have the natural cells that are coming up then you would obviously just leave it at that point I forgot my cloth, sorry people, I forgot my cloth. Just checking to see if we're still filming, yes. Look at that though, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna use, it's the it's an embossing, embossing gun. My big, my big mama wand, this is my big mama wand. And um, so it's the same, it's just a heat wand. And I want to get some um, floating cells in here. Not too many. I think I'm. I think I'm going to leave it at that because I don't actually want to bring too many cells up. I love the curves. I love how the colours have melded. This bit, this corner. I'm not sure if you see. It's really yeah kind of looking like a cut um, stone look and that's actually very nice and believe it or not these kind of artworks sell really well as well so it was a little bit different it's a four cup flip autumny colors earthy kind of colors so let me know what you think guys i'm really happy with this one i love it and yes, no ballooning. Oh my goodness, I must be having a breakdown or something. No ballooning. But that is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Love it. There are some cells coming up now. But I hope actually that too many don't come up from this point. So thank you guys for joining me. I will be back with my joke in a second because I can't think and I had it wrote down. Okay, I'm loving this one. I hope you do too. It was just something a little bit different, but it's very nice. It would actually look nice in a earthy frame or just a pine frame or even a gold frame would look beautiful. So wait for the photos at the end and thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, I appreciate it and it's absolutely free. Thank you, thank you. My joke for today is what kind of shoes does a lazy person wear? What kind of shoes does a lazy person wear? A pair of loafers. Oh God, that gets worse. Okay. Oh, no, that one's a bit controversial. Better not do that. <laughs> okay, this one applies to us all. What happens when an artist has trouble finding inspiration? She draws a blank. Okay, roll your eyes. The Nana jokes. Until next time, thank you so much. Have a great weekend, people. Bye for now.